Hello everyone. With the increased prevalence of AI, there is a lot of scrutiny on the outputs of AI. There is a lot of regulation on AI. We want to make sure that the AI systems are responding correctly and consistently, as well as um, we want to make sure that uh, the AI responses are, uh, does not have any hateful aggressiveness or any profane responses. So companies need to take care of not just regulatory needs, but also solve for reputational risks so that the AI responses are appropriate for the business function they are using. IBM's WatsonX.governance is a solution that supports companies implementing AI solutions for purposes of making sure AI, I know uh, this is the quality metrics that my AI engine is going to support. Uh, this is the fact sheet associated with uh, the AI engine. So it supports companies uh, solve for this need of regulation as in solve for this need for reputation, making sure that the AI is functioning properly. Now let's look at uh, watsonx.governance and show how we can see uh, AI governance in action uh, with both predictive AI as well as generative AI. In WatsonX, we are managing um, the life cycles of uh, AI models uh, through something called AI use cases. Think of your AI use cases as something that uh, you will um, have all your models uh, that is for a business function, and then you are going to evaluate which ones uh, are testing properly, and you're going to promote from development to um, uh, testing to production and so on. Um, so in this case, let's start with um, a predictive model. Here I have uh, created a predictive model for uh, risk evaluation. Um, and uh, in this case, uh, as I go into the use case, you can see what this model, uh, what, what this use case is all about um, and what is its purpose. And we can also see that I have created uh, a workspace for uh, development and also have created a space for validation. I've not moved it into per, uh, operation because this is a demo system. So if you look at the life cycle of uh, the model, in this case, um, this is the model that I have created, policy risk prediction, and um, I have also tested this model. So you can uh, move move the model into testing, run it through tests, and then you can evaluate the test results. In this case, I can go into clicking that test result and from the use case, <coughs> I can actually see what the testing evaluation quality results are. In this case, I have uh, seen that the threshold, there are three alerts and, um, and look at fairness and so on. Or I can open in the space. A space is nothing but um, a place which has all the uh, artifacts associated with that model. In this case, um, in this space, I can see what is the um, uh, API reference for the model, how you can actually connect to the model and test it, and, and, and the evaluations that I've already um, done on this model. Uh, in this case, uh, I have uh, been focused on fairness and quality and explanations. If we look at the actions and then look at um, the, uh, you can look at the all the evaluations and compare and con configure the monitors. Uh, in this case, I have configured uh, some monitors associated with fairness, with uh, quality, and as well as explainability. In the past run, uh, I have uh, found that fairness, it's fairly, uh, it is fair. The model is fair. It, it uh, does not, uh, I, uh, it identifies minority and it does not um, make uh, any decisions based on minorities, um, uh, adverse decisions based on minority. And uh, quality, there are a number of quality metrics and uh, I have created a, a, a threshold for it. And we can see that uh, the model is uh, 
not performing that well from a quality perspective because it uh, there are three alerts associated with it. Uh, as well as uh, I can see the explanations. Uh, um, say, for example, if I say, hey, for this particular transaction, what was the outcome? And is the outcome uh, fair, uh, right? So you can look at uh, the explanation as to how the outcome was received, outcome was a score in this case for this model, and it can um, uh, explain uh, the results of it, uh, of that particular run. <coughs> <coughs> Once we are done with this, <coughs> we'll also show, so in this case, the, the outcome was received because of uh, different um, parameters, values. The over 60 was the primary data point that scored and um, uh, claims and uh, gender uh, were the negative um, drivers that actually um, showed uh, the result, uh, what what came into uh, 33 as the result uh, score of, uh, of the risk. Now, uh, let's go back to the model um, and uh, we can um, 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 we can also uh, go into the testing uh, one more time and uh, we can do another evaluation and uh, we can keep adding on the evaluations by adding actions to it and uh, we can do an uh, evaluate now and we can do a, a test data that we can potentially uh, bring in uh, from our data set uh, and uh, policy risk evaluation. Uh, I will just drag and drop and um, we can upload and evaluate and all the evaluations will get added on into our life cycle. Um, as you can see, the upload is in progress and in a few seconds, uh, it will also uh, run the test. Uh, we have already seen the results of the test, so I want to show you um, what happens uh, with the AI fact sheet for this particular model. 